Shadowblade vs Raptor. So this is a Shadowblade vs Raptor video. I'm showing you two of the best uh, screen recorders, at least in my opinion. And what makes them unique is the replay mode. You can see in here. I think Raptor is made by uh, AMD Radeon. I'm not entirely sure, but it works with absolutely every video card, as far as I know. But Shadowplay, it only works on NVIDIA graphics cards and it only works above the 600 series. I believe they added the support for the laptops now that have the 800 series M adapters or similar. Uh, I don't know about the laptops. I don't really support laptop gaming, but anyway. So to enable the Shadowplay in NVIDIA, you need NVIDIA GeForce Experience. It's free to download, go to nvidia.com and download the latest drivers and just install the GeForce experience that comes with it. Right. There you open it up, preferences, click on the shadow play button. It opens this window. This is off by default, so you have to toggle it on. And then you have all these options in here. And the unique function is this shadow mode in here. I keep it on shadow and manual. You can also uh, stream to Twitch. I really, really hope they're gonna add YouTube streaming. I really like to do streaming, but not on the Twitch. I like to do it on YouTube, but unfortunately YouTube is very complicated with the streaming. You have all these encryption and decryption keys and God knows what, while Twitch has just the login information and that's it. I really hope it's gonna be possible with YouTube in the future. But anyway, so here is the shadow timer. You can put it up to 20 minutes. If you don't know what this is, a lot of people do not realize what is so unique about Shadowplay and also Raptor. As I explained, it's the replay mode. It's basically, it's always recording, but it doesn't save the clips. For example, for me, it's really, really annoying if I'm like playing for like four or five hours and then I have to go uh, through four or five hours of footage. It also takes a lot of hard drive space. I don't have a problem with that, but I'm just saying it takes a lot of hard drive space and it's also constant writing onto your hard drive. Not good at all. I don't know how people don't realize this, but the shadow time, it's always recording, but it does not save any of the clips. What it does, it just keeps it in the temporary file and once you hit the hotkey in here, which is save the last five minutes recorded, which is in here, the five minutes, I keep it on five, that's that's like the best. Then it just saves the clip that was uh, in past five minutes. For example, if like really awesome scene happens in multiplayer, like something really epic that you just can't miss. Like in those times where people like, oh, I wish I was recording. Well, with Shadowplay, you're always recording. And that's what makes it uh, best. For example, I do a lot of PNG videos. On that, I'll just turn it on one minute to make the scene. Uh, quality, I have it on custom in here. It doesn't actually record on um, uh, 1440p because my monitor is only 1080p. I will upgrade it in the future, but for now, 1080p is fine. And 60 frames per second. Bitrate is 50, nothing more to it. It also uh, supports 4K resolution now. And finally, I have in-game and microphone. You can toggle it uh, off or just in-game, whatever you like. I like to keep it like this. And now let's move on to the Raptor. It's the same thing. That's the recorder and that's the replay function. So if you click on options in here, it has almost identical settings. I believe uh, they just copied it off the Shadowplay. But copying is not always bad. It's not always bad because uh, Raptor, it supports all the graphics cards while Shadowplay, as I said, is only for Nvidia graphics cards. So if you have uh, AMD, so-called Radeon graphics card, then you can use Raptor. There is a downside on Raptor that it's profile paced and uh, here you can see all the games it detects, but it doesn't uh, detect all the games. That's the problem. For example, I can't see Beam NG in the list, and the games that it doesn't support, 
the games are not in the list, you can't record them. So uh, I also see there is no Battlefield 4 in my list. There is also no Battlefield Hardline. A lot of games are missing and that's the downside of Raptor. So you can't capture the games that's not in the list, unfortunately. And if you use the plus icon to add it, see now it's loading the game list and I don't think BeamNG is in here. I'll just check it just real quick. Uh, it should be EA, so we go up, uh, beam, beam, it should be somewhere, no it's not, see? So you can't record all the games with Raptor, which is unfortunate the downside. But other than that, it has the same options. If we go in here, uh, instant um, thing is up to 20 minutes. And unfortunately, it's only 720p if you go over 15 minutes, as you can see. That's another downside. But I mean, 20 minutes, it's, it's a very long time. I don't think anyone wants to record that. However, for example, 20 minutes is really good for some kind of walkthroughs or playthroughs where the level is maybe like 10 to 20 minutes or a little bit less. So if you want like perfect uh, playthrough and you just don't want to fail, you do it few times over and over, then you don't have to pick up the best of the best. You just save the clip that you think is the best and that's it, if you know what I mean. And it also supports under 60 seconds, which uh, Shadowplay unfortunately doesn't. I would actually like to have Shadowplay to have under one minute. It's useful in some of the games, like for some kind of fail compilations, I sometimes do. It's really good for that. And also another thing what I would really like in both of these is actually two hotkeys. For example, one would save the last five minutes and then you have another window in here the same kind of timer and the other one would be like uh, I don't know past 30 seconds I would absolutely like this because in a lot of games I like to uh, collect the uh, fails and wins you know the compilations so I can make a compilation video and I really don't feel like saving five minutes of clips for that so it would be absolutely useful to have that I hope they add it so you can save like two different times with two different hotkeys but back to the Raptor uh, quality exactly the same as in the shadow play which I showed frame rate unfortunately it doesn't support over 1080p uh, I also just updated the Raptor so it doesn't have it yet and as you can see the bit rate is also exactly the same as in the shadow play uh, location it's the same thing you can choose it like in the shadow play uh, in the location I'll explain it real quick this is like uh, my recording hard drive and this one here is a RAM disk. What I do is I record into the RAM disk and just show you real quick. This is my RAM disk in here, see? Uh, this is not actually a hard drive, it's not an SSD, it's uh, RAM, it's computer RAM. I have 16 gigs of RAM and 4 gigabytes is allocated as a disk. And the benefit of this is that while I'm playing and it constantly records, it doesn't kill my hard drive or SSD with a constant recording. Instead, it records into the RAM. And if I like the clip, I hit the button, save the clip, and then it records into my hard drive. I hope you understand the idea. And it's really, really useful in my eyes. So computer RAM is designed to take this kind of constant reading and writing. And it's also faster than the hard drive. Not that it really matters. Might get few FPS boost, but most likely not. But anyway, this is how I have it set up. So basically, as I showed you, they are identical to each other. And now I'm gonna record a clip with both of these and show you the quality. They should be identical, I mean, since the settings are identical, I think they use even the same codecs. And another thing, I think it's just NVIDIA's uh, like, some kind of promotion thing they say uh, they say that Shadowplay is taking advantage of Nvidia architecture or some bullshit like this but I honestly think no because honestly they, they are like bragging that Shadowplay is a very very small uh, frame rate drop but honestly 
I made a test while ago and Shadowplay is actually third. I think Fraps had the least uh, FPS drop because Frap doesn't compress the files. Or was it Mirilis Action? I don't remember. But the point is, the frame rate drop is bigger than on some other uh, screen recorders. So, but I still prefer Shadowplay. It's really, really useful. Very easy to set up, and it's just awesome. It also allows desktop capture if you want. You can choose where you want to put the indicators. I believe in the Raptor it didn't allow me to do that in game. Um, Yes, see, if I want to put everything on top right corner, or like top left, actually, yeah, see, that's that's a problem. So it unfortunately doesn't allow to put everything in the same corner, like Shadowplay does, see. So if you have the frame rate and FPS counter in the same corner, they just appear next to each other. Very convenient, but this one just clutters up your screen with all this. You have like frame rate in the top center, then something on the top left and something on the top right. Very confusing. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna record the clips from Arma 3, I believe. This should support Arma 3. I did see it in the list. Yes, we have it in here. So, I record the clips and that's it. So, you'll see the difference. Uh, so this is using Shadowplay currently and I don't really see any kind of drop in frame rate to be honest. Maybe like 2 to 3 FPS? Nah, not really. Currently I'm getting 58, 59. I have VSync on so it doesn't go over 60. But when I move the view like this it drops to like... Sometimes it drops to... Lowest I've seen is 46. And without recording it was the same so... I'm a free almost no change in the frame rate so and well graphics I don't really know there is nothing to look to be honest I mean what can you look it's on maximum settings because uh, once I render the video it's gonna be a little bit dropped the quality and once the YouTube re-renders it then it's gonna be dropped again so um, I can't really make a comparison test but I'll try to do it anyway and even to the Raptor is turned on it doesn't seem to have any effect, so I think I have to launch the game through the Raptor. Uh, that's a BMW sign in there. That is an actual BMW. <laughs> FTW, okay. <laughs> but anyway, now I'm gonna try with Raptor, and also I'm gonna be comparing the file sizes for the, um, for the videos, but I think they're identical, so I don't think it's important, but I'll mention it at the end of the video. So this is uh, the Raptor test. Raptor doesn't seem to show it, um, FPS for some reason, I don't know why. But I already checked it actually once and I think Raptor makes uh, about 25-30% to 30 smaller files than Shadowplay, which is kind of surprising, but um, the quality looks the same, so I don't know. And it's also quieter, I don't know, the sound in the Raptor is a little bit quieter. You're not going to be able to hear it because I always equalize the volume before I render the video. But I don't know. Here's the Raptor quality. I don't know if you see any change in the quality, but as I said, YouTube is going to re-render it anyway, so I doubt you're going to see any change at all. Should be all the same, using the same scenery, so um, I don't know. Should be the same. Try to record about the same time, which was 1 minute 30, I believe, which I recorded with Shadowplay. Uh, you will be able to see the times and sizes on the video. But I think the Shadowplay recording was about 1 minute 30, so I'm gonna stop it in 1.30. And that's about it, so... Uh, it's gonna be a few more seconds, but anyway, so much of Shadowplay and Raptor and... I'll see you next time.